there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Now I had a plan in mind for what I've been wanting to do for ages and I have also purchased these card blanks and envelopes which are a craft colored cardstock which I've been meaning to use for a while. So today is the day I'm combining my two um, ideas that I wanted to use. So I'm starting off by using the Hero Arts Infinity Dies. These are the rectangles obviously and I have grabbed the two largest dies. My, these are my favorite uh, stacking die sets because they are so close together in size and that's what I need for this project. So I'm using my this low tech tape. This one is from scrapbook.com. It is a new favorite of mine. Behind the scenes, I have been purchasing and trying out so many low tech tapes that work and that don't rip my paper and that they have enough tackiness to be used over and over again and that they hold ink and all of those good things. So I feel like I have finally found one. I've purchased a lot of these and I really love this little low tech tape. So you'll see this in my videos uh, pretty much from here on out. Just in case you were wondering, because I know low tech tape can be a real frustration in card making for some reason. It's frustrating when you work on a project for so long and then the paper rips or something like that. However, I've used it to hold together my dies and I have cut out two of these tiny little frames. Now I'm going to keep those inside pieces. They're perfectly good piece of paper. I'm going to use one in just a second. And you can see those frames are really nice and skinny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two more dies from a little bit further down the set and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Hold them together using the low tech tape and make it so they are just one next to each other in size and this will create another really small frame. Because today I want to make a really delicate, intricate frame for my project. Now I am doing two of each of these so that I can give them some stability and I'm just gluing these together with some liquid glue. You can definitely buy these uh, frames and things, the kind of background dies, but they can get really expensive. So I am making my own and I love how this one turned out today. So you can do this with any delicate dies that you have, any um, even more bold dies, give anything a go. Just um, I was looking for that really intricate look today, so I got some little foliage uh, dies that I have. So at the moment I'm just putting some really skinny double sided tape on the back of these two frames that I have made. Now obviously you want it on the back so the back side is kind of facing up at the moment. I'm using a little bit more of that low tech tape to hold my two frames in place. So the kind of front side of the frames is facing down which is important because we want that to kind of be the nice neat finish side of our frame. Now I'm just holding these two little frames in place and as I said I die cut those little foliage kind of uh, delicate dies there. I'm removing all of the double-sided adhesive from the back of those frames and all I'm going to do is stick these little die cuts in between those two frames. So when I'm popping these down I am kind of remembering that what's inside the frame is what's going to be seen. So anything outside of it I will trim off and won't be there but what's inside the frame is kind of what I'm focusing on. Now you don't have to use double-sided uh, adhesive here if you find that a little bit hard going. You could definitely just use some liquid glue on the back of those frames and that would also give you a minute to adjust everything and make it as you want to but I didn't find it too bad at all. It's really important to cut up your dies and make the most of them. So I cut up those die cuts and kind of made them fit where I needed them to be. Then I'm going to use some nice long scissors. I just find these ones help because I can kind of do really long smooth cuts on the sides of my cardstock. So, but obviously any scissors, good to go. And then once I have trimmed off all of those excess little pieces there, you can see that low tech tape is holding it in place really nicely. I am going to add a little bit of liquid glue, just tiny wee dabs, not over absolutely everything, but I am trying to kind of cover most things so that it will all be stuck down really nicely. I guess if you wanted to, before you die cut all of the little foliage, you could have used something like stick it or double sided adhesive on the back of all of these. Um, and peeled it off that way but honestly the gluing was just as quick for me and nice and easy. So my little frame because I die cut it with the um, rectangle dies fits perfectly onto my card front which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches and then I just take off the low tech tape and there is my gorgeous delicate frame. I love this look especially on the craft background. Now here's a little stamp that I recently couldn't resist 
this is called meadow flowers and you could obviously add anything in the center here of your little frame so this was just what i chose but anything at all any little flower arrangement would look gorgeous I am stamping this in some memento ink because I am going to very quickly color this with my alcohol inks. I use, and I actually, I only own the tri-blend markers for alcohol coloring. So I'm using one pen and that is the coral blend, which will do all of the flowers. This is my favorite because I am no expert in alcohol markers. I do like using them, but I am definitely not good at kind of matching colors and getting all of the different shades and things and I feel like that takes lots of time and I just find this the easiest way because all three markers are in one pen so <laughs> that's why these are my go-to but obviously you could color this with anything any watercolors any acrylic paints any inks dye inks pigment inks just use whatever and make it work for you but I just quickly chose to use the uh, alcohol markers here. I haven't used them for a little bit and I was having a clean out of my little craft space and inspiration called when I saw them. So I am using these to color my image. Now, as I said, I just like the fact that I can just use one pen and I've got done the same here for the green. I think this is the light green marker. And I just chose these colors because I was kind of going for a soft and subtle look um, for this gorgeous little bunch. And again, any sentiment would work on this. You could put on anything that need, you needed for your occasion, but I am going with sending hugs today. That's the one that I needed. And I used my very old faithful uh, All the Little Things stamp set. Now, this is one of my favorites. I have used it so, so, so much. It is definitely worthwhile. You can put together so many sentiments. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. You guys have seen it a lot if you're watching my channel. Now, I did go ahead and get the coordinating dies. I purchased these um, for this little bunch here. So you know I will be using these a lot because I like to get my money's worth when I purchase a stamp set. So this is going to be a popular one that you guys will be seeing. And I feel, again, like it's a really versatile little stamp set. And that's super important to me when I am purchasing something. So just to pop this up a little bit from that frame, I'm using a little bit of foam tape. You could use some foam squares. You could die cut out plain cardstock and just um, layer up that cardstock behind it. Just whatever you have to pop it up a little bit. And then the sending hugs sentiment will go right there, kind of across the middle of the flowers. I've got a little bit of foam tape in on the back, but I do have a gap in the middle um, because the flowers are already raised up, remember? And then just to kind of finish it off, I'm going to use a little bit of this kind of waxy thread here. This is a favorite of mine at the moment. I did cut three little pieces, but I found that to be just a little bit too much. So I'm going to remove one here and just tie two of the threads into a nice little bow. And it's going to be quite a delicate little bow just to go on the front of that bouquet of flowers. I really loved putting together this delicate frame here. I actually ended up making a few of these and I just went through my stash and found any kind of dies that would work for this. So I'm sure that you'll have something in your stash to create your own delicate frames without having to buy a whole die for it. Please let me know what you think of this card down in the comment section below. I really love reading what you guys um, write to me. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!